Welcome to another exciting episode of Special Delivery. And with me to anchor all the way from Lagos, but we're doing this in Abuja. I had to welcome in in a special way my brother, my producer, Matthew Edafe. Sometimes when you say these things about me, I'm like, okay, Amadi guy is talking about is talking about someone else or there's somebody. I'm talking about, about you, man, the comedian. <laughs> He's a comedian as well, trust okay. me. And okay. um, you know, um, our guest, the most consistent Nigerian <laughs> super eagle player ever, ever, go by any statistics ever. The one player that is in the, that is first on the list of every Nigerian coach. Talking about all the way from 1994, I think, all through to 2002. First on the list, ahead of the JJs and the Kano Wankos and the Amoka Chase. We go back a long way, because he's my brother, and I'm very That's proud right. of that. Over 30-something years, way back together. That's true. And we call him Chindo. But to you, you call him Garba Lawal. Sometimes when you talk like this, uh, you make me jittery. Yeah, it's just me talking to. But it's special delivery, man. You know we have to deliver you specially. Okay, Chindu. Yes. Where did that name come from? It says fingers. This one. They make it grow. Ah. But I'm lucky they caught it when I was young. When I was young. Some have Can it here, some have it in, in their last um, finger of, of the leg. That used to sound like an Igbo name. Okay, so for me, let me tell you my own thoughts. I used to sound like Chinedu, Chindu, Chindu. <laughs> so, so, in my side of thought, I used no. to think in my head like, okay, maybe the mother is Igbo no. and Chindo was no, just no, family name and all that. Not at all. So Chindo is somebody with six six fingers. I have a friend who darling in that can we call him Chindo? Do you call him Chindo then? Okay. Yes. So let's let's get on, on this conversation. First Emmanuel Babayaru said that you guys came from like when you were ah. like kids, toddlers and grew up ah, together yes, and Tijani yes. Babangi. Competing and against, each, competing other against well. each other. Is Football it, matches once, twice every week. Ever, right? once, let me ask you, how is how difficult it is to compete against a man who is so consistent in his game? Like he will give you the same thing every time. He plays with precision. But when we smoke, this man, if you see the shot, bullet up to tomorrow, <laughs> right? I'm telling you, That's true, the guy it? shot now bullet, and it's, he never uh, rises uh, like high. It's like this. It's a precision. One of the best goals I see you score, and not the one against Anthony Zabazareta. That was yes, a beautiful I, goal. I but, think against Ghana, they have only. Corrupt finals. You got that. <laughs> Man, so, Man I'm, in 2002. I'm not used to seeing you navigate your way from the back forward or from the side into the field. But this, there was movement. You got the ball, you passed to someone. Yeah, to JJ, JJ, JJ with the to ball Agaho, wide again. Think, Agawa, you know, something so like that. It was, no wonder that song. Garubala, what to JJ, JJ to Agago, Agago, what to JJ, 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 JJ. So, so I, saw, I, saw that, I saw that triangular movement, yeah. zigzag, zip yeah. lock, zip lock, yeah. and then it came to you, yeah. and you were ready. Really? Was it something you've always done? Maybe was it a part of your game where you've done that in Julius Berger, in NUB, Roda, which is your mainstay? Yeah. Ellsberg is one club that we both share yeah. in common. Yeah. Yeah. And, that's you know, in China. Where, where did that come from? Yeah, normally when, whenever I play in the midfield, I always have that um, that shooting abilities and shooting accuracy 20, 25 meters. Because I have that um, confidence that um, when I have the ball, I know there's a goal in front of me. I learned it from, uh, from later Rashidi Ekini. He said to me, always remember you have a goal in front of you, just shoot. If it's 40 meters, have believe in yourself. So have that confidence. But uh, you must have um, accuracy before before um, power, Pressure. yeah. Because if you hit it without accuracy, you, you, you cannot get it right. Okay, so that is precision. Then growing up in the north, like yes. if growing up in worry, you're yeah. more likely to be a comedian, mm. a lawyer, <laughs> doctor, engineer than a football player. Yes. But then there is always that one person that that makes the thing. The, the that not with the, they do footballers. Yeah. The thing just click. You just yeah. realize that yeah. it is football I want to. Yeah. Who was that person for you that you saw and you say? Leave all this thing that they are saying, you know. I, 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 I can remember 
I can't say um, Dairo Sadi because we love him when he was playing. Because Conti can do a, everything with ball. We call he's, him Bruno he's, Conti. Call him, yeah. We call him Bruno Conti. He's blessed. Yes. So you always admire him that um, Arashidi Akini too may so rest in peace. You say, oh, these people are playing for Nigeria. When are we going to get? When are we going to get this chance to play for the nation too? But Seba Mungida, TJ also the same the same ambition. Rashid is playing, but we can also we can do it. But how and when? Wow. And I think also the the culture of football in mm -hmm. Kaduna yeah. helped. Yeah. Because it had a very, very rich... Because I could remember way back, we played, played football like 2 four, seven yeah. on the pitch. Like two, practically, literally 2 four, That's seven right. playing. That's right. You understand? Yeah. Now, if, 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 if I may just ask this question. Yes. How did those moments help to shape your professional life as a footballer? Um, when I started in, um, way back, NUB in Kaduna. Yeah. Nigerian Universal Bank. I think I'm in Makarvi, the former governor and the senator was our chief accountant. We were just playing and uh, we don't even know where we're going. But um, from a day where me and him competing every week, maybe playing games twice in a week, barefooted. Wow. You know, so we yeah. don't know where the football will take us. But um, the most important thing is always you must have focus. As you yeah. said, Kaduna is a city that um, produces a lot of. Um, talented players. But coming to NUB, I say, it's a, it's a step forward from, from Ade Boys. Street football. Yes, from Ade Boys, um, yeah, boys club to, to a club where, where, where I can play um, State League. And where you can Kaffa League. something little. We call it Kaffa League. And you know what? I would trek from a side to the weather to um, back of um, market. And 30 days, my salary was 15 naira. That was my salary in the bank. So 1991, after we began promotion now to, um, to uh, uh, Division 4, they employed us in the bank because they, they knew that Tornados are looking for me, myself and Babangida brother, and Abdul Suli. Oh. So they employed me as a junior clerk. So, you know, that is how I started. So when I, when I make um, my decision to, to resign after the, the effect of um, prelims, they were saying, one who one employee as um one who how do I say promotion to a uh, supervisor, and this boy is moving, he's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> Josie Lad was looking for me. Shooting stars were looking for me. Josie Lad, Lad, <coughs> Josie Lad, may so rest in peace, was saying, we have um a new uh, Mudalawa because I play in the midfield. You yeah. say my game is like more like like um Mudalawa. Mudashirulawa. Well. Julius Berger sneaked me and uh, they snatched me up and, uh, and I sent to, to, to Julius Berger FC. Yeah, no sneaker, I know Chief Idama. You let's know. talk about that. That to me, Chief Idama you know, at that time let's was. Let's talk about Chief Idama a bit. That yeah. man, I that man. To, <laughs> I came to Lagos, I scored a goal against Julius Berger yeah. and they beat us 3 1. Yes. But something happened. Yes. He snuck up, follow All Star Hotel. Yes. And then sent one boy, Ishola Shwaibu. To Shalashia. come talk to me, okay. one of the best winger I played in the yeah, world. those days. To yes. come talk to me, I know the boy. but like, I be worried, boy. Now, uh, bros want to see you. Yeah, I said, okay. I didn't know he was talking, and then guess what? I was taken by Pijot, and yeah. I went to sit yeah. in front of yeah. Idama. Yeah. Yeah. First off, there is no way Idama can talk to me, and yeah. I'll be able to say no. No, you must so sign. Idama now. said you that. Must sign. That's why he Idama always asks for the player to come to him. Because he has, yeah, he, he has the money. He has the money. Yeah. 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 You see it there. He said something to me. He said, anybody that ever give you money like this before? He said, this will not be sign off here. I want that shoot this That's money. right. Just come and sign for Bega. So I need you to explain to maybe the, us here. How did your signing for Bega is? Because almost everybody I met who played for Bega have yeah. a particular story by Idama. Absolutely. How he turned their no, head. Me, me what did I he do for him? I always have good relationship with him because when Balogun saw me in Akure Center, Challenge Cup, I was a hot cake there. ACB was looking for me, Blade United, Stationary Stores, Bega, and other clubs, and shooting stars. Balogun came into Kaduna. You know, that time I was afraid to give um, my home address. I give to Janiba Bangida's um, home address. <laughs> <laughs> I came Mr. to the bank. Talk about Mr. Honesty you know, now. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was younger then. Yeah, I was younger then. My parents would say, what are you going to do in Lagos? You know, so when I came to the bank the next day, he said to me, ah, somebody come from, uh, from Lagos. He's looking for you. He said, we should meet him in, in Fina White House Hotel. 
the one on the constitution road, not the other yes, side. Yes, 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 I know. Wow. I said, who is that? I said, it should be Balogo. I meet Balogo around three o'clock. He said to me, tonight we're leaving to Lagos. I tell Ibrahim, your, your brother now, I say, Ibrahim, let's go to Lagos. That's how we, we, we follow um, a night um, small car to Lagos. Four o'clock, 4.30, we're in Lagos. Wow. They took us to Morrison Hotel in Surunduri. We, we change and we take breakfast into the office. The funniest thing, when I go to the office, I saw Tariba Ways, Edema Fuludu, you know, um, Bazaay, uh, uh, Late Omali Mumosa, Peter Obano, Luis Udo, Mbagwai, James Nagona, I can remember some names. Big names in Nigerian football. Nigeria absolutely, League. absolutely. Great names too. I said, this is where I want to be. Mm. Everybody is go, going group by group signing. Then I'll turn and say, Lawak. I say, Brian, let's go. The funniest thing when I sign, he said, no, 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 you, you guys are, are small. We are not going to register in Continental because he wants to win the African Champions, um, Champions Cup. Yeah. yeah. Because you people come from the local league. The funniest thing, when he finished talking, I said, sir, I want to say something. I told him that you regret not signing me in the, in, in the continent. He said, ah, yeah, I know, I know your abilities. I know how you're playing in the prelims and your league, but... And it happens that way. We come to the um, a game a game before uh, the quarterfinals, and Sabatin Broderick he wanted to um, use me, but he cannot because um, I was not registered. He was not registered. We want yeah. to pass that stage. He called me with him more than ten times because it's a pressure match. We must win or draw because they beat us in in, Mar in Maroc two one. If we beat them one nil in a, in a, in, a, in, a, in Lagos. A way good where we already qualify. That is how we were out. And always I don't have any problem because I give my best 100%. So Idama likes me too much. He always asks me if I need money or something, but I never go to him and say I have a problem. Because I know my salary is intact. When we play games Saturday, Mondays, we take bonus. And you know beggar, they have money. They don't have the, the lack of anything. The kids from Germany, every, every season, three traps would set. Let's talk about your salary at Julius Berger. Yeah. How much was it? Beggar, I came from NWB. I was a staff and I uh, collecting uh, 550. When I come, my first season in yeah, Beggar. 550,000 Naira? Uh, NUB. Uh, NUB. Uh, 550,000 Naira. Five, 560. Thousand naira. No, not, not, naira. Uh, not, not thousand naira. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not, not thousand then. You, you can't get that money. This then. generation watching us now. You know, so, think. so after when, when I came to Beggar, he said to me during negotiation now, he said to me, okay, your salary. I will pay you two, two five, two thousand five hundred. I say, ah. I said, I said, I said, I said to my mommy, mommy, that's a plus now. So that is how I signed for the first season. Then the Sanofi then ninety one is twenty thousand. Then the highest players, the, the big players, them Edema Fuluri, they are collecting twenty five thirty. You see the difference? It's not, it's not much. Me that come from lower league, I'm here, they are here already. Tari won't go because Tari came from from Rangers then. So that is how my relationship started with, um, with Chief Bidama. I always give my 100% and uh, that's why when I want to leave to Esperance, he, ha he has not given me any, any problem. He just only asks me, where are you going? Do you want to go to Asai Mimosa or Esperance? Esperance. I say Esperance of Tunis, say, say game over. Let's talk about things that we do with our money. Yeah. Okay, I got my, my first sign off here, I bought a car. <coughs> Motor who signed was, you? Who signed 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 you? Sharks okay, Sharks. Uh, yes. How much? Yeah, how, how much? Which year is that now? That was 1996, 97. So how much? Uh, 350,000. Uh, uh, first, uh, first uh, game. Uh, he, he tries. He Sharks was paying well. Yeah. And straight, I went to go and buy a 190. I just left there, walked into a car lot, a lot of us in Japan, 190. Now, there are other things that come with if I some people say if I face my first money, I'm going to give my mama. Yeah. I'm going to pay some people, I'm going to have pay in church. Yeah. What do you do your first sign off fee? Yeah, I did I, to buy a car did not come to me. Uh, as you said, I give my, my parents some money and I keep some. That is what I do. So I I leave Nigerian football without um I left to Tunis without without having a car. Even a bike I don't have. Because that is not in my head. I always want to go to help me to achieve my dream. Just to go to, to Tunis from there to go to Europe. And I'm lucky. So Very you, well lucky. when you went to Tunisia, yeah. this is something that always happened to those of us who were privileged to go outside of the yeah. country. Yeah. This was the first time of you seeing 
that you're playing football from any naira. Yeah. That guy that they gave 50 naira, yeah. 560 yeah. naira to 2,500 naira, yeah. your salary is now in dollars. Yes. And you know how this is. Even if they give you $1,000, yes. the first thing that cl clicks in your head is the conversion rate. Yeah. Your mm -hmm. first dollar mm -hmm. salary. Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> What? How did you behave? Did you lock yourself in the room um, and spread the money? How no, did I did not because um, the whole thing uh, happened like a dream. Uh, Esperance and signing. We were playing in Akure zone. I think um, we played with shooting and uh, the match was abandoned. So they fixed the game again in, uh, in Akure. And our, our sender is um, Oweri yeah. in Challenge Cup then. And in one year, they are coming to play home after they are playing crash. And Esperance are coming. I don't know who playing with shooting in Akure. One other man came in, they were looking for number 10. After the game, he just sent, to, sent, sent our set to, to call me and say, hey, this is the kind of player Esperance are looking for. I say, are you crazy? I already signed with Asek Mimosa. I tell him, I beg, I beg, get out. He said, ah, these people, these people, they are serious. I say, don't disturb me, I beg. Let's go back to, to Oweri. So immediately the Esperance land in Oweri, they tell them that, they tell the president Shilim Shibu that we already have number 10 now, the one that you're looking for. I signed my contract in Nigeria. I did not go to Tunis. They bring the license and the contract. You see how lucky I was? Wow. Without any training. No trials. No trials, nothing. Wow. Those are the days when people play for you. Yes. Those are our days. I look our at days. It. I look at our it. days. Look, look See, at those it. are your Trust days when we play football. And my first game in, in, in Tunis is against Club African, local derby. <laughs> and I, tra I trained twice with that team. And I played that game. And we beat Club African 4-1. In that time, Wasi Upaye was in, 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 uh, in Club African. Yeah, that okay. was my first game. When I see the crowd, it, it, was, it was crazy, man. And, and you know, when you play in Arab countries, yeah. because I spent like six months in Egypt, when yeah. you play in Arab countries, yeah. it's different. It's Nigerians different. are passionate right, right. about football, yes. I agree. But yes. the Arabs, whether it's in Egypt, Algeria, Morocco, yeah. Tunisia, yeah. Libya, or Turkey, yeah. it's different. On yeah. Friday, for instance, there's a game on Friday night, the horns starts from Monday. You know, yeah. how was it like? Because your first game is a derby. Yes, and the, so and, and, and the horns are loud. Saying, this is this is this is derby. You are playing, you are playing a big club in Tunis, club African. Esperance club African. They are like this. So how was the experience like? The <laughs> atmosphere. <laughs> Come on, me. I don't. Um, I don't mind because me. All of what I believe is my abilities. You know, I knew once I take decision to leave home to Lagos, then Lagos now to Tunis. I know if, if it's good, it's me. If it's bad, it's me. I don't blame anybody. Remember, I, I was working at the bank and I resigned and, and moved. So that, that time, I know I, I have strength. I can do whatever I want to do. In, in, in Esperance, I play like three positions now. The system we play is like this, like this, like this, like this. Because the late Eddie Brickins are the one that is playing left football for them. He's late now. He's safety, he's safety guy. And uh, when he goes, he cannot fall back. So I have to come back and help him. Wow. So that's why I say I play like this, like this, like this, like this. Okay, so let's talk about a few things that you picked up in the game as you grew. Yeah. When did you decide that I want to be a midfielder? I know you talked about diary siding yeah, earlier on. Yeah, but when yeah. did you decide? Because diary siding was your reason why you played football. Yeah, yeah. But when did you decide there's goalkeeping position? Yeah. I tried it towards the beat us in level yeah. zero, I remember. Yeah. I, I hate talking about that story. You're short, it yeah. man. How can you They were lobbing the ball in, lobbing the ball straight. Yeah. I couldn't even save anything. Yeah. 11 goes. Yeah. At what point, and you know that midfield is hard work. Yeah, like, very, very, it's very. a tankless job. That's you right. walk, 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 you go forward, you come back. You are the reason why attack works. That's you are right. also the reason why defense fail. That's right. And you decide to play. I mean, normally you should play winger. Well, my coach now, he knows my coach Adi. He always uses me from the left side. Yeah. Left, left, left side of the midfield. Maybe because I use left foot. So maybe maybe from there, when I come to NUB, I play full number 10. Because that's a club side. No matter which system we And the system we are playing, we are playing 4-4-2. Yeah. That was then, from, from 89, 19, 91. We are playing 4-4-2, two strikers. With, with his friend, Bamangira um, and brother, Ibrahim. We call him Computer Football because of his quickness. Yeah. So that is everywhere I play that um, 10 position, Bega and uh, 
began uh, an an, uh, an, an right. NUV, yes, an NUV. That is how it started. Maybe those coaches see that um, I can give um, good rent passes and I can shoot from 30, 35 meters, 40 meters. Maybe maybe that's why. Because I always want need need that space to shoot. Sometimes I don't even need to to, to cushion the ball before I shoot. The ball in between my leg, I can I can play. Because yeah, I believe I have the power. So let's take these flights from Tunisia to Rhoda. To Rhoda, yes. Your football career seems more like accidental luck. Yeah. You're playing for NUB, yeah. you play the FA, France, FA yes. Cup, yes. and then they signed you. No, yeah. no carry your book, go for screening, you know. No. Bros, ah, Papa, give me notes now, make I go meet your coach, somebody where you know. Yeah. They signed you. Yeah. Experience came on their own. Yeah. They just saw you and they say, no try us, yeah. come they and sign. Me, yes. Three days training, yes. you're playing a derby. Yes. How did it happen for Roda? Roda happened after, um, after the Olympics. You know, they call and said, um, I have to come to Holland. You know, I said, okay, no problem. From In Tunis now, I did not tell anybody that I'm going to embassy because I know how Arabs are. I refused to go to morning training and uh, I go to embassy, fill the form and I get the visa that day. You know, so I miss morning training. So immediately I came, uh, Two days after, that week we are playing Club of Ken. And it was on Wednesday, I believe, Wednesday or Thursday. Come to training now, I wear my suit. Some fans are, see me outside, outside the field, and I said, where is his back? What is he doing? I did not answer anybody. And I went straight to the president's office. Because when, when we are playing two aside, they have to pay before the entire our, yeah, our, 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 our training field before they cross the gate. I knock Slim office and uh, he just see me like this. Why are you not training? I said, no, it's not that one. I, I'm, I'm traveling um, tomorrow to, to, to Holland. He said, are you crazy or what? Where's the visa? I open my passport and I show him. What about, what about ticket? I show him the ticket. <laughs> He just say, yeah, you are a crazy boy. He said, but you know that they will, they will come and clear you. I said, yes, I know. Then he, he, wished, me, he wished me luck and uh, I said, okay, I, I watched the training small, then I, then I left the, the, the park. Then the next morning I was, I was, I was in the, I was at the airport. That's where the problem start. Those police people now, they are all our supporters. Oh, hey, no. come on, speak. Hey, speak, Yenti, speak. I'm traveling to Holland now. Everybody was, um, they just, you know, land phone now, they do this, they, they call Slim. They speak Arab. Garba is here, he's traveling. Are you, are you, are <laughs> what you should aware? we do? <laughs> are you aware? Yes, are we? He's giving me. We leave him to go, we hold him. <laughs> he, he told me now, I know, I, 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 know, I, know about, I know about him. They already give me coffee, they give me chair to see. They are supporters now, they know me. They give me coffee to take. <clears throat> Before. After they finish, they were just crying, you know. I said, but, 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 but we have a derby against Club African. We must win to beat these people. I said, that's not my business. My business is to go to Europe and I, and I have the chance. And when I go to Holland, to surprise me, I have to, I have to train with FC Utrecht for good 30 days. After this home in the Olympics, so. But that time they have a coach, that coach, um, Former Tottenham manager, Martinho, maybe you, have, yeah, you know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. He called TJ and said, don't let your friend sign for Utrecht. Let him come and sign for Ruda. I said, what? what's this? I came back from, uh, from training one evening like that. TJ bring Haruna and Ibrahim yeah. to my hotel to stay with me from Amsterdam because it's 20, meters, uh, 20 minutes drive uh, between uh, Amsterdam and Utrecht. Tom called me and said, hey, Lawa. Tomorrow we are going to gang. We are going to play a trial match. We're going to play for Roda in gang. In dance. Sorry. It's very cold. I will, I will never forget that day. Very, very cold. <laughs> it's December time. Oh. I said, no problem. Welcome to winter. I told him, but you know, say I, I, I have not bring my 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 my, my heart stop. How soft stop? He said, no problem. We have to drive to to to, to Breda, NAC. Maybe NAC. Maybe, yeah, maybe you have, yeah, yeah. we have to go to Breda. To take um, Copa Mondial from his player. I went there now. Those players, they're they they are looking at me, other players now. I said, Do you want to massage? I said, Yes. 
I want to a massage. But it's very cool. I don't feel my feet. My feet is it's like it's like this floor. I say okay. Second hour, when the game begins, second hour, they tell me to warm up now. You could see if you want. I just played 30 minutes in that game. Like, like um, I was training with them for, for more than more than six months. I just adapt very quick. After the game, the coach come and Martin will touch me and say, see you in Kekradi. That is when I know that I, I, I've you already signed. signed. <laughs> <laughs> but that feeling is yes. good. That feeling is good. So, so immediately, the next morning, now we, uh, uh, after I sign like this, direct off, Utrek call and say, our players with you. So he's, he's, he's already signed. He just banged the phone like this. I, I signed six and a half years. That is how it happens. Okay, so let's take some step backward. Yeah. You're playing for Experience to News. You're making yeah. waves. The newspaper yeah. were writing about Everybody was talking about yes. this Nigerian guy yeah. that was playing tirelessly. Yeah. Yeah. There was yeah. this... Right up the route about you one time that they said when you play 90 minutes yes. and there is another 90 minutes, <laughs> you can still play and not... <laughs> get tired <laughs> and you were invited to the national team yes. for everybody who played football i don't yes. know about to this generation yes. but back in the day yes. if you like be playing for real madrid yes. the greatest phone call you want to receive or message you want to receive yes. is you've been invited to absolutely. the national team yes, absolutely. it's like heaven christmas yes. in july yes your first invitation to the national team how was it like <laughs> my first invitation was um you remember the nation's cup yeah 95 that was my, my first invitation. But when I came that very first time, I have to look the kind of um, environment you have, the players as a whole. Because that, that time, late, late Keshi was having injury, was coming from the injury, and Bonfri was trying to, to take him as, as, as uh, an assistant coach. Iguavon was there, all them late. Ogun Navarro was there also. Um, uh, 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 who other will keep Aloe also Rupai uh, himself, you know, Abrashi Kini also, JJ and Co, Daniel, Siasia, all of them. I said, This is the kind of person that this is the kind of place I want to be. But how? I said, Well, the first thing is if I have the opportunity to play, yeah, that is when I, sh I will showcase, showcase my talent to prove that I'm, I'm the right person. But then, if you look the caliber of players you have, individual and collective, you, you, you don't have to be afraid as a goalkeeper, was, as a defender, or as a midfielder. Yeah. Because those players, they will back you up. They will tell you, hey, Emmy, don't, yeah. don't, don't worry. Don't bother about mistake. We are here for you. Because you knew you can deliver. Yeah. That time I was, um, I was, um, I was very excited. But um, it, it, it never happened after, it's after the Olympics. So when we came back from the Olympics, remember we, we uh, I, I think we passed through um, Senegal. Senegal, yeah, we, we came back. Two days, Senegal. two days tour in, in Senegal. Then we come to Lagos. When we come to Lagos, another two days tour, you have to see the culture of our people. Of our people. And the shirt is out. That if you wear this shirt, it's not for formality. You have to give 200%. Because if you slip up like this, Another player is coming, then it's finished for you. But these Super Eagles, I don't think if they know distance, they need to know when you come to Super Eagles, you don't come to Super Eagles, play and go. Just like that. You come to serve the nation for yourself and for everybody. If you do it well, people will love you if you leave legacies. Yeah. Just like you, you remember it now, the game you play, this, that, you are this, you are that. So, but these players know. A lot of us finished playing football more than 20 years, but still... In the market. About, yeah, yeah, people still talk about it. In the market, everywhere. I think uh, my first game was... Um, that was my hardest game. In Kenya, 1997, January. January, January 11th or January 6th, I forgot. With um, late um, Kuchamudu Shawa against Kenya. We drew that game, I, I believe, 1-1. Yeah. But it was fa fasting period. The weather was was too harsh. Kasarani. Yes, I, I I can never forget that game. I, it was it was so difficult for me. I played 90 minutes in that game, but but the way I walk after the game, I was I, I don't know I don't know how I feel. <laughs> I really. <laughs> you know you, know. you you said something. That's yes. about okay. Sorry, no, please. Yeah. You said something that touched yes. me. You yes. know, because I was actually going to go there, but yeah. you quickly yeah. said something with regards to that. Yeah. Talking about how important. Yes. 
it meant to us yes. at that point. At that point, yes. To wear the green the, and white yes. shirt. That's right. I remember the first time I wore a Nigerian jersey to train. Yes. <sighs> to train. Andrew Aikomogwe yeah, gave me his jersey to train. The cat himself. I the went himself. into the room. I was shedding tears. I said, me, mm -hmm. with Nigerian national team jersey today. Yeah. You know, and then today it's different. It's very, very different. What do you think is missing and why do you think it is so I remember listen to this moment it's like a carryover to this moment every time I say the national anthem yes. of Nigeria yeah. you see tears yeah. because we were taught back then you must understand that it's no longer you on that pitch you're yeah. carrying the aspirations yeah. and hopes of yeah. millions and millions of yeah. your countrymen yeah. that is totally missing today what yeah. do you think I believe, um, you know, as you said, those days you have individual players that can that can make differences. Example like JJ. JJ can do everything with the ball. And you have other people that that are good passers of the ball. You have you have people that can that can that can tackle. You have people that can mark. Individual and collective. But now I ask myself, me also I'm asking myself, how? I just I just don't know because I believe before you have raw materials. Yeah. But now I don't think if you have those kind of um, raw materials players, I don't think so. And and you you see a player playing a game today, this level, tomorrow after tomorrow is here. So you 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 ask yourself, no consistency. In football, when you don't have consistency in football, there's no way it's either the the is it the the grassroots coaches but and how? And the, the players doesn't listen because they learn football from here now. Yeah. That is the problem. Computers. <laughs> so they, they, they waste their time here than to go and learn uh, 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 practical. If you remember before when we were young, we do competition like, like us here, like 10. Yeah. You start juggling with the ball. Yes. Yeah. You do 10, yes. Four, yeah. then you do 15, yes. Yes. you do 20, 25. Yes. That is how we, we learn from each other. And inside us, like here, you have one exceptional player. Champion. Anything that he's doing, we want to copy. Yeah. Everybody and do the same thing. Up. So I think that is missing from, from this generation. So do you now think it has a lot to do with our grassroots system? Because one of the things you note, like yeah. when you talk or yeah. during that time was, yeah. we all came from a system. Yes. I mean, you and I go back forever. Yes. Remember, we play, not just we play against each other as yes. friendlies, yes. we meet at Ramat Cup, Trebo Cup. Yes, yes. Uh, Guta, every kind Guta of cup, tomorrow, every, tomorrow, yes. every yes. kind of cup yes. tournament kind of you can cup. imagine, we yes. always met and played. Yes. You know, do you think, because all those things are not there now. They're not there. So do you think it has a lot then to do with our grassroots development system? That's right. We, we have to go back to secondary school football. But we have a lot of scouting tournaments. They are lucky. So that, that is the question I'm asking myself. They have a lot of academies. Before, we don't have. No. And we play barefooted without, without a shoe. Yes. But then they have everything. But they cannot play football. The first time somebody ever gave me jersey from Europe, I was already playing for Sharks. I was Finidi George. Finidi, Finidi came and said, where's that small boy that this is playing in my position? And then he sat me down and he started telling me, come, it's not just to be running and be dribbling. I hear you come from worry. They call you worry about you. You have to learn the act of passing. Yeah. If somebody's running ahead of you, giving the ball in such a way that he, it will not affect his running, it will not slow down his stride. It's, those English were big at that, but that is still Dutch philosophy because like, he come from the Dutch. You must give the ball in such a way that he is comfortable to meet the ball. Yes. Okay, okay. I said yes, boss. Next day he came and he gave me. I don't think sleep. you said yes, boss. There was no yes. No, boss I just said yes. Time. There was no boss. <laughs> that but time, just, yes, boss. No yes. day. Yes, boss. And then, no and day, and then he time. gave me that jersey and. I think the jersey made me lose focus. <laughs> uh, <I> <laughs> it was foreign. He was the only time we bought foreign jersey yeah. was from Africa. Uh, yeah. So you you you've been mentioning two two names, Okocha. Uh, yes. You talked about Terry. Yes. Tell us an Okocha story. Tell us a story about Okocha. He's, he's 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 an exceptional player. He's everything. He's, he's magic. When you have JJ in your team, some won't like the way he plays, but. But fans like it. Some coaches will not like the way he plays. But the fans, they, 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 they love that. No, you. But, you. What, 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 what's your own take about uh, JJ? Me, I want to play with him because when I have him, I have a lot of confidence. 
that he can change everything. Remember, you have Finidi Joe, you have Daniel, you have Amuniki, you have uh, Victor, you have Kanu, you have Leda Chidi Akini, you have Babangida, you have Sony, you have me too. <laughs> sorry, sorry, you have Uruma, you have everything. Then you have Agahoa, it's coming. <laughs> then you have the Bafo, you have Celeste, you have Uche, you have um, Egoavon, you have West. Terrible West. Yes. So you have everything. So if you, if you in this kind of squad, have a, if you don't play football, blame yourself. That one that you won't wala. Okay, so there's this thing that, that we always do, like in camp. There's, yes. a, there's the game and then there's the person. Yes. Tell us some things that happen in the dressing room or in camp that yes. have nothing to do with football. Some things that happen in camp. You stayed in national team for a very long time. Some memories that come up to your head right yeah, now. Yeah, what I, I can remember is um, whenever we're playing game at the dress room, Taribo will, 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 will pack the, the, the back four to the toilet or to the one side and tell them, hey, there's no goal today. So it's always crazy about that one. You call the, the four defenders, you tell them, even if we don't score, we don't let anybody pass us and score. Oh, wow. I always I always remember that thing. What's terrible is scary person. Like when you're going to camp, yeah, you are afraid that hey, terrible again. No. Hey, terrible could beat person to do. Do you get that kind of feeling? No, I, I know him now. Me and him play beggar now, 92. So I, 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 we, we know each other for long. So we don't have, he, 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 he's a, a funny guy. Always talk and he will shout, hey, Von Peugeot. Hey, Emmanuel Baba, he shout, Baba Jida, Baba yeah. He shout, hey, JJ. He shout for everybody, for us to laugh. So it's like, as I said, like a, like, like a family. There's nothing like he wants to be, we, we all come for one goal, not success. We, we do call honest, it sometimes, yeah. but it's for, it's, for, it's for the good of the game. I have to be honest here, yeah, I think you're a little bit economical with the truth, Garba. <laughs> but we all know way back then, Taribo was crazy, man. Yeah, yeah but Let's I know. Be but, but, but yeah. Remember the incident between Taribo and Tijani Babagila in Holland at the camp? No, I was not there, no. Okay, yeah, I, you were not there. I, I, I was not in the camp. You know, Taribo is that kind of person. I mean, I, I like what you say, but he's yeah. erratic. Yeah, I know. He I know. can just look at you and say, my friend, get out of there! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the reason for him. <laughs> that, that's like, I like that kind we're of person. Going, we're going for a match. Yeah. I will never forget this. We were in the bus. Yes. We were driving. We were about to play an international game. And we were just in the bus. Taribo can just say, Ima! Shut up there! Yeah. <laughs> and you're looking at him and like, was I even saying anything in the first place? Yeah, it, you know, but, it, but one kind of, thing, one truth is, I guess of, that never happened yeah. to you. Because you are this kind of player. Yeah. I think your discipline nature, yeah. not only is it inside, but it also comes at outside. Because that's why yeah. I, I see quite a number of our questions. Mm. The way you answer them, it has more to do with your personality. Because yeah, you've right. never been... I mean, you never took part in all most of our gra gra things no, and all no, that no, stuff. No, 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 You've no, always no. been a very disciplined no. guy. Yeah. Now, but the, probably the question here now is, mm. why are you the way you are? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's my background, or I just I don't know. But, but my friend is not like that. Baba Gira is a he's a funky malam. So <laughs> <laughs> he's, yes, he's, he's, he's very funky. He's, he's different. He's social. So I don't know. I'm just, I don't know, I can't explain it. I'm just can you, myself. Can you say you, you borrowed it from your mother or from your father or uncle? I really, I really don't know. I can't, I can't say. Because I lost, I lost my father, I think, um, 84, 85. I was very young then. When I was in, 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 yeah. uh, in, 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 in this field. Oh. Yeah, so, so I, yeah, I just don't know. Talk about your friend. You always talk about the Baba Yaru, yeah. Tijani Babangida. Let's talk about Tijani Babangida. And you, because there was a time in the national team, it seems like the two of you entered the same. No, he, 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 he was my roommate now uh, because I played with him when I was a teenager, also with, with Omakachi. Okay, you know, so but but TJ, because I played the same team with him, boys club, just like him and Sele, the same yeah, Highlanders, the same Highlanders. Yeah. So when I come to Olympic team and national team, I I made Babangira there, so it's easy, my roommate, so it's easy. <laughs> no wonder. So, so now let's so, talk about the coaches you played yes. under the national team. Because at some point, yes, there was a time where people were saying <clears throat> every time they called the team list, oh, I know one on the list. Gabala was fans. there, yeah. but then the fans didn't like you. Yeah, there was I'm, a time where, of course, I know there was a time where the fans didn't like. Not there was a time. Most uh, of the time, people were like, like they were what's like. like what did they would they please? Yes, quota system. Uh, can I so? He's just coming. <laughs> <at the table. laughs> but. 
You see, when oh, you play friends. when you play football, yes, it's different from when you're a fan. Yeah, I always tell people that I like the fans making noise in the stadium, but I don't take their opinion serious yeah. because they get high today, tomorrow they are. Yeah, of course. But but this thing, every coach didn't just only invite <clears throat> you. Yeah. But they invited you and they played you consistently. Yeah. What was that thing you were doing? Because it's beyond. He's a quota system. He's an Ausa boy. He's this. What was that thing you were doing? Because you were not. I can't remember you ever doing step over. Yeah. I don't remember watching a game and you do step over. No, I, 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 I don't do that really. But every game you're going to play. Yeah, What's I that think, thing? Um, you have any conversation with coach? I say, ah, coach, don't worry. If you play me, I will not disappoint you. No, if you do I've, this. I've never asked coach to. Oh, I'll give you money. Team. No, those days they don't give they know they give money now. Who mm-hmm. will be you? Who, who you want to give money? You want give you get money. The money? You get the money, sir. You know? So I don't know, you must uh, I believe um when you are utility player in a team, I think you are safe. If you can play like five positions, no coach wants to lose you. Because he's he believes you are you are you are very important. True. And uh, you must be tactical discipline. If you are not disciplined enough, you can you can't be a utility player. You cannot. How did you buy battle language barrier? You left you left Cardona, you came to Lagos. Lagos is a cosmos, is in New York of Africa. I know. And then you went to Tunisia. You were playing in Tunis. Yeah. Tunis is also like Paris. Yeah. And then you left okay, when you went to the Netherlands, you were not in Amsterdam, you yeah. were in Kakrade. Kakrade. Down small. It's a small mm, like it's a two, farm city. Two, 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 two hours. Yeah, but Limbo. how did you fit in into all this language? Issues. The language, the language is one. It's football. You must, you must think. When, when someone have, have the ball, what do they say? They say hold the ball. Nobody. You are alone now. So you check. Pass the ball. You pass. But then off the field, you went out to buy things in the shop. You go out. You have a social life. A little bit of a social life. Even yeah. though you're not social like TG, but you, you have your own <laughs> class of social life. That's right. Let's talk about that. You yeah. can't just be passing this exam like that. <laughs> see, see, no, I, I'm, nah, I'm not, I'm not pleased anymore. <laughs> seems like you're, there was no difficulty. When you're an angel, what are no, the challenges? Well, it's very difficult now. When you're alone in, in, in some places, what can you do? But um, before I left Nigeria now, my coach warned me when I was going to Tunis and said, Kuchukuno, I think it's in, in, in the state now, it's in the US. Yeah. He always said, um, you are, you are, there you are alone. So you need to be very careful. You know, when you are in Lagos, you are not, you, you know, you don't drink, you don't smoke, you know, you don't follow girls. So don't go to Tunis and start doing something different. So I always remember Kuchukunu language, the first day in, 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 in Ori. And he tell uh, Esperance president and say, you know, it's a small boy. Yeah. So that time, the, all my stays in Tunis, I, I live in a five-star hotel, a Mr. Hotel. So I did not take a house because he already told them. He's a small boy. And I don't want him to, to feel lonely. Sometimes he's lonely now, but I always believe whenever I go, I lose my son in training, I need a rest. True. So that is what, all I'm doing. After training, I'll just come back home. If I'm going to center to buy things, I'll buy it and come back. When we in play, Holland, the same thing. When we play football, yes, the money was not commensurate to the dreams that we have. It was yes. way bigger. That's right. He, I mean, you go from... Maybe your father was earning, if your father was even earning big money, yeah. he was earning maybe 5,000, 5, 10,000. Yeah. And then in your family, you're the first person to see millions. Yes. What's the first big thing but you to bought with your money? To my house now. <laughs> that, that was my first, that was my first, um, that, was, well, that was my first um, aim to see my family is comfortable. I'm, I'm not I'm even thinking of uh, in the house. That the first house, I think, um, in my side, where, where, where we are, I think um, that time, whether it's 350 or 450, I forgot the figure, something like that. Yeah, at that wow. time. Then I buy the first one, then I buy this one, then I buy the second one, like that, three of them. Oh. All, all my, 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 some of my brothers are in, you know, so I'm, me, I'm not living there. I'm yeah, living towards, um, towards uh, uh, the bull, yeah, yeah closer, maybe, closer maybe, maybe five five minutes drive. Yeah, you know, you don't go reach three, five minutes up. Tell me the difficult coaches you've worked under. I mean, there are some coaches that are just nice to you. Oh, really, Kuno in Bega, the guy no, in, in, uh, in Tunis. All, all, all in Martin that. I, only in close, in close side, I have um, 
because they don't like it when I come to national teams. That is my problem with my coaches. Oh. I have one Severgozin in, uh, in Holland. When Martin Yon left, and, uh, yeah, I believe in 1998-99, after the World Championship in 1998. So there's a player that um, he went on loan, Van der Heiden. He went on loan to Lille, and um, they asked him to come back. That coach says they should bring him back. Because they tell him, I always, always I go to national team and play. <laughs> Some coaches don't like that. Yeah, I know. Some no, coaches man. don't like that. Most of the coaches don't like so it, especially I, when you're African. I, I, I put facts in my house so that I can receive. I can receive very quick from, to know how yeah, to from NFL. how to plan my trip. So when when they send the NFL the, the very first day, they send it to my house too. So when I came back from training, I'll see the facts. I'll take. Ah. But I say I, I was in training this morning now, but my coach did not tell me that he, that he has facts. I said okay tomorrow morning. When I came and tomorrow morning I drop uh, yeah, I drop my, my shower bag, I pack, go straight to the office and say, hey, coach, trainer, did you, re- did you receive this? He said, yes, when? Yesterday. But I said, but, but, but I was with you yesterday now. You are talking about tactic now. You call me one on one and uh, you don't tell me. He said, yeah, but I forgot. I said, oh, I have it. I'm leaving on Sunday after the game. Uh, you're the first player. Yes. That is saying this and my head the, the whole fuse in my head just exploded right yes. now so you install the facts in your house yes give a copy yes how intelligent can that be yes. give it your number to the nff and yes. tell them that look when you're sending the facts to my club yes copy my copy you, my you, facts you know, you know why i do that because i don't want to rush anything i i do i, I take time i give I, I give my time i give myself a time i don't i don't like to rush rush no no i like I, I like to plan myself so the same thing then in, in, in the Olympics, when I, when I was going as an overage player, they do, 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 do. Bonfrey has to fl- fly from Nigeria to come to Maastricht. He live in Maastricht, about um, 30, 35 minutes drive from, from, from where I live. He come to the office and tell them, hey, he has to come with me in Sydney. They agree. After Bonfrey left, after five days now, they say, yeah, no, but you know, we are playing Europa Cup, did that, 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 that. We, uh, <laughs> They tell me later that for me to sign not to go to national team. I said, I say, hell no, I will not agree with that. Because one day I will go back to Nigeria. I said, so goes, you can't type later, you can't tell the director, the director of football there to, to, to draft a letter for me to sign, not to go to my country and play. I said, how many times do you play for Dutch national team? He said, no. I said, then, then, I said, what is your problem? I said, no, no, I have to go. He said, okay, we agree. So I have to play my last game against 20 on Sunday. And the Olympic game will start in the next, uh, I think in Sydney, in the next uh, three or four days. You have, have to take that have, long trip. have to play on Saturday and leave on Sunday. 13 hours to, um, to Paris, I think. No, uh, Amsterdam to, uh, to Singapore, I think 15 hours. I mean 14 hours. Then, uh, then Singapore to Adelaide, I think it's, it's five hours, about 19 hours. The sacrifices you have to make. To play for the national Yes, team. I say I, do, I don't agree with that. I have to go. That is how I live to Sydney Olympics. Can I ask you a simple question yes. now? Those sacrifices, yes. those pain, yes. those preparations, yes. all for country. All for country, yes. Was it worth it? Yes, yes, it's worth it. Me, I, don't, I never regret playing for Nigeria because it's my country. And I'm living here now. True. Then, then there's no... There's no... <laughs> There's no, there's no regret. I never regret playing for Nigeria. I said it. You played against a lot of opponents, a lot of teams, yes. tactics, yes. players. Some <clears> are <throat> very nice, some are very erratic. Yes. You were always marking. That's right. Some of the like five players that you played against that were frustrating. Yes. You know, some players don't just play the ball. They want to put their hand in your face. They want to insult you. They want to rile mm-hmm. you up and yeah. piss you off yes. so that you can collect card. Because yeah. Especially when you're good at marking. Yeah. I used to do that anyway. I used to try to offend people so that maybe they'll get so? card. Yes, yeah. I used to do that. Okay. Sometimes people just, why do you guys mark too much? You don't want somebody in the winger to enjoy the game. Like you just mark and, uh, like a policeman. Exactly like, the Nigerian you know, there is a policeman. For you. Yeah. There is CIA, there yeah. is FBI. <laughs> yes, Some right. players are just like FBI, CIA, everything put together. Mossad, yeah. KGB. Yeah. Yeah. What's here happen now? Let's play, enjoy the game. Who are those guys that you think back and say, ah, this guy was a problem? So like in care. training, for instance, yes. have you ever come face to face with JJ Okocha? Like I swear to God, I would never mark Okocha. Why? No, no. It will do something that my memory will never forget. Yeah, but 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 that's why you are training. If you if you go, don't go hundred percent. 
Exactly. Ah, uh, you don't have to press now. <laughs> you don't have to press. You have to be smart here. So he can do whatever he, he, can he wants do whatever to do he on wants. one spot but while one you're spot. still watching. I agree. Yeah. Sometimes you're doing rondo, doing jojo. Yes. And Okocha is Okocha. Okocha will embarrass you even when you're sleeping. Uh, yeah, but, but but still you have to use your brain because it's blessed. You still so, have to be very smart. When, when you the go passion to him, of the game he, is pulling you. you. You have to do 100% concentration. He may dribble you one time, but the next time you, you mark you and you come back again. You dribble you and you come back again. Ah, it's normal. No, no, no. When you have the strength, you will do that. Sometimes Taribo will go, you will dribble Taribo, you come back again. You come back to him, you say, I will come back again. So let's talk about moments where you lose games. Well, it's not good to lose games now. The one that I want to talk about the most is the finals of the 2000 African Nations Cup. Yes, that one is, is, this is, is, was, is painful. The last time we hosted the Nations Cup, we won it in 1980. Yeah. And the squad in 2000, yeah. because we had been starting in 96 yeah. due to politics, we didn't go to 98 due to the ban in Burkina yeah. Faso. Yeah, but we made it to final. And then we came in 2000. Yeah. We're not even supposed to host. Last minute, they say it's Ghana yeah. and Nigeria yeah. hosting. Yeah. 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 And we had this squad that was good. We had Olise, Everybody, um, everybody, you know, you were in that yeah, squad. Yeah. Baba Gida, Fini, Baba Gida, Fini, the George. You. Everybody was prime. Celestine, yes. We got all the way to the finals. Yes. Yeah. First, Cameroon shocked you guys. Was there a, a, a mental block whenever we play against Cameroon that make us to be afraid of them, or is it that muscles and the jerseys that they were wearing? They were looking no. intimidating. No. What happened? When Boma and Eto were. The word yeah, of the we'll, we'll beat them 2004 anyway in, in Tunis. No, 2000. Let's start with 2000. Yeah, but but that, that's a penalty anyway. We, we scored those two goals. JJ was a, was, 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 was a magician. The second goal. I'll be the first one. I think the second one. How, how, how Voli left. Yeah. I could remember. Took on the quiz card the yes, first one. Yes. So we played 2 2. Now it's penalty 5 5. So, what was running in your head? You know, you guys were watching it. You were at the center of the field. Yeah. Watching it. Kano Akwa had missed. Yes. They had also missed one. Yes. Weber walked up to that. Weber yes. not missed a penalty with Nigeria ever. Yeah. His left foot was yeah. educated. Yeah. But then he played that ball, hit the bar, and then they put the sign on. No, it was a goal. It was a goal. If we had, if there were, v, in fact, they should go and introduce VAR no, 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 now. No, no, no. no. If we had v, that was a goal. No, that's, my brother, that's, that's, that's what I'm judging. Weber put the sign on his head. No, the AR was there now. And no, but Weber put it. But the AR was there. That was a goal. Weber made it easy for him. No, 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 no. If Weber turn, it did not go in. If Weber shock, what about the bar? Yeah. What about the AR? Not the second bar. That's what the AR is there. To George. The okay, AR so you are shifting it to the yes, air. Yes, yes, absolutely. It was there. It was okay. a goal. Yeah, it, it, it was a goal. Long as short, we lost the game. Yes. We collected Siva. You wish you still have to today. That, 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 was crying. That's the painful side because of that goal. That the AR was there. How, how, because how the rough was on field. The rough, uh, you said? How did you feel? B very, very bad. That was um, that was a, that, that was a nightmare anyway. You stay angry to this very moment. You can <laughs> see it from the expression. Yes, it's the first time I'm showing your piece. Yes. You can see it from your expression. <laughs> they stole your good. Yeah, of course, yes. Ah. So when you when you hear that Isayatu, Amaju Pinik and uh, um, Amad Amad were fighting against Isayatu, did you at some point think about it? Yeah, good for him. After all, these are the people that stole our, our uh, good. Me, what, me, was me, that me, a part me, of me? Me, never, never go that side because that was that was the past tense and you can never change it. Truth. So so what so what are we saying? You can't you can't come back and say because of our this, this one is fighting that one. Maybe maybe all of them forget about the, the, the two thousand nations call because they are administrators. We are players, that's what we're talking now. When you look at your current when you look at the current supplier, yes. is there anybody that reminds you of yourself? Like it's like this player reminds you something that this guy do, this guy have a bit of me here, a bit of me. No, not even me. I cannot even see who is playing like like Celestine or Babangida or JJ. Or Omokachi. Not in this generation. You know, if you say uh, generation before them, the, like them um, Agahoa or, or, ya, or Yakubu. Yakubu, I can say, is playing some similar like, like Omokachi. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, so, but after those generation, nothing again. You think social media is spoiling our players? Well, I, t I believe um, these players these days, they are too pumped. You know, when they play small game, we, we talk, as you said. <laughs> the next game you see them when they, if they are here, the next game you see them here. So they are going like this. So that's why we are crying up to today. Why our super egos are playing like this? Do you ever cross your mind like, okay, I want to be a coach, and if you were ever going to be a coach, what was going to be 
Gabalawa's philosophy as a coach? Which um, coach would you have coached like? Yeah, uh, later Modu Shabu, uh, may so rest in peace, um, always said to me, maybe I, I should try to be a coach. Yeah. I said, okay. I know maybe one day I hope to be a coach. I wish I did. But it's not, um, my, my friend, my brother, TJ already said to me, hey, Malam, me, 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 I cannot be a coach. Oh. It doesn't have it, temperament. He already <laughs> said it. He already said he can never be a coach. <laughs> Even TJ so, so, is a quick fix kind so, of person. Yes, he will tell you, say, I cannot be, uh, Malam, me, me, I cannot be a coach. I'm going to go to do whatever I want to do. Me, I know, I, I, know, I know get time for that one. That's it. So, so, so it's not easy to be a coach. The but, tense of the, the tense before the game is, is is something else as a coach. But when, right now, sorry, um, yes. right now you are you are you are somewhat of a coach because you're a member of the technical. Yes, yes, yes. I coach a team. I, 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 I was um I was with um with Real Stars now, a, a team that I would play exactly. national league. Yeah, I, and I, I, I coach the team for time. for for two years. The first year we, we were the playoff, and the second year we came second. So we missed the playoff. You know, it's man management. Not a, not a, not a government is, team, yeah. you know. So lack of funds now, so it make us some um, to disband. Oh. You know, but at the Super Eagles now, where yeah. at the national team, where yeah. you are a member of that technical committee, yeah. how much of your input yeah. comes into yeah. comes to play exactly? Yeah, um, That's the word comes to before play. when when a coach um has his list, he has to come to the committee to read the list and uh, and ask. How did you call Emmanuel? He said, did, did, that, did you call him? Those did that, that, that. But when this white man comes in, they never do that. That is the problem because you bring the list not to argue but to share ideas. Maybe the committee will tell you something that you don't know. Looked, yeah, true. You know, but, but when this one comes, nothing like that. I remember Las Labaga, Las Lagabak, Bati Vox, and uh, yeah, let's. Like Stephen Keshi and Samson Siasia, you know. Uh, so, but I don't know why now we don't do that. I don't know. There is a player in the national team, yes, Victor yes. Simeon. Yeah. And all through this conversation, you've mentioned Rashid Yakini a yeah. lot. Yeah. It shows that you you love Rashid Yakini. Of course. There's a Sime. There's a comparison first off of. People say Osime is the next Rashidi Akini. Osime well, is the one that will break the record. Does it remind you of Rashidi Akini? Yeah, but no, he reminds me of um, Daniel because he's, 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 he has that kind of Fight. power. You know, uh, he never give up. So that's, his, that's one of his quality that, that I like. But um, for him, he's just starting. So he has to play like four, five seasons for you to see whether, whether he's the man or not. You know, so he has a long, long way to go. Sure. But for now, the, I believe he's the only striker we have that can fight. I believe he wants to he, 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 he wants to make names and he wants to win everything. One name you kept mentioning, you live five meters away from him, yeah. you know him all your life, yeah. you compel, uh, yeah. compared Yakubo Ayebani to him yeah. or Sima to him, yeah. Amokashi. Tell us a Daniel Amokashi. So Amokashi if there's is anybody a, who can write a book about Amokashi, Amokashi is, um, is you. It's, so it, tell us about Amokashi. It's like a bull on his brain. He's not afraid of anything. And uh, I don't know that Daniel is playing like this. It's when he, after he finished football, sometimes he put his um, games in his statues. Sometimes Everton game or sometimes Besitas. The way he runs is unbelievable. The way he shoots the ball yeah. is unbelievable. I agree. It's, 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 it's something else. It's fantastic. Do you think that growing up in northern Nigeria, yes. because the reason why I'm asking this is, yes. I've seen a lot of players. Bawa Abdullah, I don't know if you know him. Yeah, he came to me in Bega. So, yeah, so when he's a, when he's a Bawa Abdullah, I, I know him. Dahiru Saidi, Saidi. Mohamed Lawal, yes. who have very good shots. Yes. Yourself. Yes. One of the most skillful players that I've seen come from the northern part of Nigeria. They call him Pele. They used to call him uh, uh, the Maradona, Kano Maradona, Ahmed Gabayari. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then there is uh, Ahmed Musa. Then there is Rabiu. Yeah. You know, what's that thing about players that come from the north that makes them play in a particular? They're not really interested in skill and all that, but they stay in the game longer. No, they have the skill. Conti. <laughs> when when they was playing, it, 
You can't say the Edwin doesn't have skill. Yes, he does. It, he does. And myself also. What about Celestin also? No, Celestin is different. Let's talk about Celestin. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I didn't mention it. No, I hope that's about. not because I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It's kind of to do with Don't you. forget, Celestin, Celestin is not a left football. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. He played number 10 too. Okay, now I know the secret. Yes, he will tell you in their camp. Yeah. In Rogeni, I'll be in yeah, Onicha, Rogeni, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Because of Oruma. Late Musa changed his position to left football. Yeah, I was I was not in the camp, but 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 he knows the story. He can, maybe he can no. he can add more. No, one day we would have uh, <laughs> Celeste. <laughs> yes, that will have him via. He will say that himself, and I would need him to yes, say that. Story. Yes, yes. So so a lot of players has has skill, just like Baba. You know when, when Baba came into camp, the, 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 the people would say, ah, he doesn't have. You take the ball and check JJ. Ah, you see this, you take the ball and yeah. him also he's trying something, just for us to laugh. Okay, so there's one thing that when I look at the current team today, we, yes. we grew up with precision as, like, Mandy Sinclair was a coach that I worked under. Yeah, yeah. He would tell you, if you can't lift the ball and call a player's name, yeah. and the ball goes to that player, yes. you're not a good player. That's his philosophy. To him, yes. if there are five players standing, like, in a maze, yes. and he would tell you, cross the ball, but tell me who you're giving the ball to. Once the ball is on flight, yes. mention the name of the yes. player that the ball is going to. Yes. If that ball doesn't get to the player... It so seems, him, it seems you don't have precision. A useless player, as far as it's concerned. Yeah. Today we would play a game and we have like nine or ten corner kicks and all kicks not going to your teammates. But they don't plan for that. They don't. They never train. If you're training, then they will perfect what you want. But in Europe, you always do it. Yeah. You face pull. You second. You you edge of the box. You know. Yeah. <laughs> so, but 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 I believe now they don't they don't do that. You remember 1990 World Cup? When we were in training camp in Swiss, after every training, Bora would tell me, he would ask me to wait, and he would say in the first pool like this, to be playing that ball. That's how we scored Spain, the first goal. You tell me to, to play the ball where, where, where his son is. About 30 balls. I keep on repeating. So you're telling me that the goal you scored against one of the best goalkeepers in the world, Andoni Zubizareta, Yes. Up until this moment, I thought it was a fluke. Yeah. It means that you guys have actually been training and preparing for that position no, and that, that angle. That one is is different scenario. I mean, the goal um, that Michu score, which he said, is from okay. corner kick now. Yeah. Yeah. That one, I just saw him uh, two meters from the goal. I think, okay, let me just um play the ball across. He, he's a goalkeeper, and don't we de- never expect that ball to come that yeah. that position. Mentally, I believe. Yeah. When you see the ball, he anticipates there's nothing he can do. Immediately you do this, the ball touches hand and and, and because I, I play the ball with, um, with with power, so he reacts, but he doesn't know what to do. He reacted, but yeah, but, yeah, the, but, ball, he but the ball was faster he, yes, than his reaction. He, he was, I don't know, he was thinking the ball will come this way, and then I play the ball the other way. Tell me your you people's mental state going into that game. You're playing against Spain. You have yeah. Riku, You have just about Herrero. Raúl González was. Hitting the net in the Champions League, and this was a team we want to play. Normally, that, that game. Um, what was your mental state? Normally, normally that game we have to. Uh, the coach says we have to play four five one. But we knew that was not our our traditional pattern. So we changed the system in that field. That JJ has to go a lot of times close to to Victor and play four in the midfield to still play four four two formation. That is how Did the coach not uh, look at it and say, hey, this is not what I ask you guys to how? play. Uh, JJ, uh, come back to your position. In, in that kind of situation, you're looking for success. So you cannot, because we run everywhere now. You, you won't know how, we, how, how we're playing. We run everywhere. Wow. So that is, how, that is how it goes. You know, we did the same thing during the Olympics as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, when Joe Bonfrey kind of tweaked the team a little bit and had Kano coming in a bit deeper. Yeah, yeah. And we had problems. Yes. We had to sit again and decide, say, listen, man, yes, yes. 4 4 2 is what we're best <laughs> at and it makes us champions and that's exactly what we want. And you remember against Argentina too. I believe I'm we're losing when you take Moby out and bring Oruma in. Yeah. We play three at the back, Celestine, Uche and, and Taribo. Yeah. So, so we, as a coach, you, you must gamble. You're looking for success. Yeah. And it pays. Yeah, put them across the border. Because probably. we have the energy, then we run everywhere. We run for each other. That's Absolutely. why we're a team. Absolutely. That's why we're a team. Then as we, as we run to a close, 
I want to I want to know something. Uh, I think one of the most profitable coach you played under was Bonfrey Joe. That's right. It's a uh, Dutch I'm man. Do also, I'm do also. Yeah. I let him. You won the also. Olympic with Bonfrey Joe. Yeah. You won silver medal at the Nations Cup with Bonfrey Joe. Yeah. And tactically, yeah. tactically, in my opinion, I might be wrong. Yeah. I didn't play in the Super Eagles, yeah. but I think that tactically, Bonfrey Joe was the most crazy, audacious adventurous coach when it comes to tactics. Take for instance, That's we're right. going to play against South Africa. Yeah. He moved TJ from the right and put him on the left. Let and me tell TJ you, what, 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 it's good South as Africa. you remember, you remember me that game. Bonfrey came to our, after dinner, he came to our room before, I think four days before that game or three days. He said, hey, Baba, you play from the left side. Baba said, but see the man where they play there now? He said, you won't understand, my fish is slow. I want you to, to listen to me. McFish is slow. Whoa. If he use McFish in the first 20, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, we'll score two goals. When he talks something wonderful, it's like it's like um it's like um it's like magic. After he finished, he went out of the room and Baba said to me, You see this man, you hear what in this man he talk? How how can I play left side? <laughs> Tomorrow again after training, he came into our room and said, I'm not joking, you know. prepare your mind. And that is how TJ take in Gomeni, he wants to make a pass, TJ intercept yeah. from our half. TJ keep on going slalom till he scored the goal. After the game, he say he speak language to him, he speak Dutch, he say, look at look at him. Now now he's happy. Everybody is saying baba baba. When I say for you to play from the left, you're you're angry. <laughs> and, now, and now you are here. Now <sighs> still in that tournament. Yes. Another tactical Mastercraft from Bonfrey Joe yes. was taking Finidi from the wide area and yeah. putting him in the midfield against Morocco. Yeah. And we had one of the best games. When Bonfrey Joe. Look at the goal. Uh, Finidi just scored his left foot. It's with unbelievable. His beautiful left foot goal. Unbelievable. When, when, when the coach comes up with those tactics, be very honest. Yeah. How does the. You guys as players call yourself and like, like I said, this man on the cross. I'm match fixing with this one. No, no. Finidi was excellent on the wing. Yeah, but but, but him he can because he, Finidi is smart. He's a, he's he's the kind of player that I respect you also. Yeah, I respect him a lot. I do. He's very very intelligent. Very very intelligent. He's not quick like Baba Gida. He's an exceptional player. So you never mind. The same thing in a in a Paracord. He played the same, that same JJ position when we were playing Liberia. Most win game. Yeah. He plays same position. Baba Bangira play from from the from the right side, and myself and Olise will play two holding midfield against um, Liberia and Patako. The game we won two nil. So it's not new for him. Uh, uh, he has he has a lot of qualities. And there's one player that my all time greatest about this player. I worship this player doing Sunday Olise. You guys play the same position. Yeah. Sometimes you pair in the whole yeah. game. And yeah. every time I say the two of you pair, yeah. the game is good. Those yeah. were the days where Ulisse was able to go forward because yeah. he knows that uh, Gaba has got me covered. And Gaba. the year he came to Ajax he, he, from Cologne, he, he scored 20, 30 meters goal, 25 meters goal. Talk he, to me about Sandro Ulisse. He's, he, he's, another, he's another good passer of the ball. You know, very strong. And, and he doesn't want to lose. Nah. He doesn't want to be a loser. And he's a good guy too. Very strong. As a captain, what does Olisa tell you guys in the dressing room or in the camp? You know, we just talked about this current team doesn't have not having leaders. Uh, we we know why we're there now. You are professional. We, you, we want to win. That is not the language. We don't want to lose. That is the language. There's this rumor I heard in 2000. I'm going to say uh, uh, you guys were in Sheraton and they, then they were in the dog. And then Amokashi showed up with Lincoln Navigator. And it's like before the, this was before the Congo game, and then we drew that game. Who, like, who, who, who they talk that? That's the story we heard. No, I mean, and then Victor Kweba went no, to buy no, in Lincoln. No, 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 I mean, and you guys were no, 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 no. How true is that? No, 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 Mister, nothing like that. So in the camp, there is no nothing. This one, nothing go wrong when it comes to the game. When, when it comes to the game, no, itself, I'm not talking of the game. Of no, the game, no, no, no. nothing of of the game. I, I want that to is in, is, is in Kaduna now. What do you want to carry Lincoln come 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 Lagos for? I want to support. All the way to, Let me to tell drive you what happens. Uh, what happens, I believe, okay. happens amongst players. Yeah. It's simple. Yes, 
as far as the Olisa mentioned even in the in the interview we had, as far as the game is concerned, yeah. we have only or we had only one goal yeah. to, to win. To win. That's it. No, but I'm now, looking outside for, I'm, the I'm game. Looking, I'm, I'm fishing. Outside man. the game. Yes. Outside the game. Yes, it is true. Yeah. When the so you know the, you know we had hierarchies. When the so-called big dogs, the, the biggest stars, when they buy this, mm -hmm. the next man will want to buy it, the next man will want to buy it. But it had nothing to do with competing. That's it right. had more to do with, oh, this is beautiful. Yes. Let me have same too. I can tell you Did that. Did you ever do that with anybody? No, oh, no, TJ, no. don't buy this car. No, no, I'm going to buy no, I'm going to buy that don't, car. Don't even go there. No, this no, one is totally no. different. Me, 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 leave me on this that side. Do you really. know to this moment, so let me ask this you. man would never... To this moment, <laughs> this moment, this man has remained the same regiment, discipline yeah. he had from football. He does not indulge. Yeah. Not even something as little as air conditioner. He will tell you it's not healthy. Tell you um, that. Um, what do you miss in football? What do you miss about being a football player? What do you miss? I, I believe I miss um I miss those group of from um, of my friends and my and my guys. So I miss I miss those group, you know, to to come to come and have a fun and, and go back. But we still have fun. Play. Yeah, we play enough, a lot of novelty yeah, these days. Yeah, that's true. We, 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 we play a lot. We like, do a lot we, of we novelty. Like that's four, true. Five, six times every year. That's every year. Yeah, that's no, true. That's novelty true. match is yeah. not like but it's not, not yeah, too much. But, yeah, I understand. Yeah, no, but yeah. in terms of in us terms meeting of, and yeah. discussing, yeah. we do meet. Yeah. And then, uh, what is Garba doing now? Well, now I'm in NFL for six and technical officer. So, so that is um that is what I'm doing. If you could go back, yes. brrr, back, stop at Julius Badger and take your decisions forward again, or you could write a letter to the and advise your young self. Yes. Dear Gabalawa, 20 years old, these, 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 these are the issues of life. Yeah. Don't behave like Emmanuel Babayaro. Ah, <laughs> Learn from this person. Learn from, Learn from that person. You cannot call names now. What would you do? No, what would you do differently? Con con considering your decisions of the past, what would you do differently? Yeah, I believe in life you must um, you must take decisions at the right time and uh, you must follow your heart. But don't don't look back. Once you say you are going this way, focus That's on right. and go. That is what I do those days. When I take decision to play football, I came in there for I came into NUB to play football, not to work as a banker. But when they employ me, then I say, okay, this um, this hurdle of jump this one. Let me wait and see. But year in year out, the the the, the first season, the second season was better than the, than than the first one. Then the then the ninth one is better than than ninety. So that is how I start moving gradually. So when the opportunity comes, I grab them. I grab them. Well, um. Garba, I mean, you know, calling you Garba is it, so funny, but I have to do that for my people. You know, this is, <laughs> yes, this it is, is a special delivery, yes. you know, to my people. You have to right? deliver it right. Um, because I would rather call you Chinde. You know, that's how we call myself. You know, yes. you call me, you call me number one. I call him number one. Yeah, whenever <laughs> I, I call, call him, I say number one. <laughs> <laughs> we talk practically almost every day, every yes. other day. Yeah. We're always over that, the phone. Back up, we're brothers. We have to keep in touch. That's true. You know, um, it, it's really, really exciting, you know, having you here. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm sure at some point we're going to call on you yes. again. No problem. And again and again, because there's sure. so, much so much to so tap much. into. Yeah, remember, when, when you call me, I say, I say no, this, um, this is my brother's show, I must, I must be there. We've not even delved into mm -hmm. the youth development aspect yeah. of the game, yeah. you know, the administrative aspect. There's so much to talk about. Yeah. But I'm sure time will not permit will on this, 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 this particular one. So thank you so, so, so very much no problem. It's a pleasure. for this rare Always. and great opportunity. It's been oh. a privilege and an honor. Thank you, big brother. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you so much. Thank, thank you for coming. Thank thank you. Appreciate thank you. It. That one is a day they dribble people anyhow. Uh, they will break your legs since now. Leave them now. You know me. You know. You know. Jump to bury that guy. You know. Jump. You know. Jump. You matter bury. No, I play against the man at the The demolition man. The demolition man. I was always ready. The demolition man. Real demolition man. And it's very. Ah no no no. Tebere is. Yeah. 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 I am sure you did enjoy yourself just as we have, and then um, 
You know what it is. My name is Emmanuel Babayaro. You can call me the Godfather Iwadago, and you will not be mistaken. Maza. <laughs> 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 is it right?